did the heart. Heart is another neckline you will soon see. And it's called the sweetheart neckline. And it's shaped like a heart. Okay. Now we're on the next exercise. And that is the heart shape. Why do I pick the heart? Well, there's quite a few dresses that are, have sweet heart necklines. Also, there's the Peter Pan collar. There's shawl collars that have a curve, then a straight line. So what you're doing now is you're combining the circle and it has a V. So we got straight lines. We have a V, V, and we have a curve of a circle. So we've got three types of shapes all in the heart. Now, where do you start? You never start in a corner, right? You try to look for the straightest line. Here's my straightest line in my heart. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to finish here. Again, I'm going to line it up. I'm going to look, lower my knee, press your foot down, try to get right on the line. I double check. I look up. Perfect. Now, on straight lines again, you use a pre pressure foot back stitch. Don't forget to back stitch every time you start and when you finish. So I'm going to follow this straight line. And again, no, always stop before a corner. Do it by hand until you can get right on that point before you can turn. Now, I have an interesting <laughs> curve here of a heart. I kind of played a little bit more around here. It's, but it's a little bit curvy here. But again, I'm getting close to a, a curve. Look. So now I got to use the technique I learned in my circle exercise. I'm going to take this whole thing by hand little by little around the curve. shape if you don't do this technique. There we go, little by little. You know, I never even learned this. <laughs> I realized I was like, you know what, how do I get these curves? Here we go. There. There, little by little. Take the curve. And again, you got a, a you got a corner. And again, the corner, you don't use a pedal either. So you get, see, there I am right in that corner of that heart. There we go. See that? And I'm going to try to line it up where I can see a straight line. I'm going to do a little bit of a, because I see a straight line, tiny straight line. But I'm back to a curve now. So I'm going to lift and turn little by little. And even if you try to cheat, I can turn on the other side and I can look. I can see it. You can actually see it. This is good for appliques as well. Any kind of applique. You want to applique things, patch pockets, all kinds of curves, really tiny little details you want to sew onto something. Labels. There we go. Curve. And you continue to do it all the way around, just like this, by hand. You can just... Curve here, a little bit of a straight line. There, keep turning here a little bit. See, I'm right on the line. There's a sharp curve there. So it's like one stitch at a time. There we go, one stitch at a time. Lift. I can do a little bit more. I'm almost there. This is where I started. That's the thread. Now I'm getting back to a straight line now. So, nope, a little bit of a curve. I'm not yet ready here. See how you can see that black line's on the left? Here, now we, we can do it. There. I go past where I started and I backstitch. There we go. 
part is done. And here's what it looks like on the other side. Look at how the curve is. It's a perfect curve. There you go. That's how you do a heart. Now on with the next lesson. Mm -hmm.